on the other guard, number 00, Maverick on Missy. At forward from Quezon City, number 18, Ralph Koo. From Sasmuan, Bambanga, also at forward, number 25, Japet Aguilar. And at center from Angono Rizal, number 34, Christian Stan Hardinger. For the TNT, Tropang Giga. From Guagua, Pampanga, at guard, number 17, Jason Castro. Also at guard from Talisay, Cebu, number 16, R.R. Pogoy. From Cebu, at center, number 21, Kelly Williams. At forward from La Union, number 45, Brandon Canuelas Russer. And from Cagayan de Oro City, at forward, number 12, Glenn Cobontier. Being in the injured list is Scotty Thompson. Ralph Koo. Also here, makes a good pass. Pick and roll motion. Brandon Ganuel Snozer had to defend him because of the way he's shooting the ball. And that left uh, Japet Aguilar open for that. Uh, easy. And actually, Coach Tim Cohn talked about it during the post-game press conference when he was saying, you know, Ralph is a cerebral player. He likes to be able to learn from his teammates. And every single player, apparently from Barangay Ginebra, the veterans are talking to him and giving him pieces yep. of advice. Uh, absolutely. And now he is a lot more is expected out of him because of uh, the absence of Malonzo. He is going to be a, a mainstay here in the starting lineup of Vinebra. See Stan falling away. Starting to show us his range from the... Canuelas Rosser sends it to Castro. Castro pocket pass. Canuelas Rosser now with five points. Who can provide stability for the starting unit and then you have a super scholar in the fana coming off the bench but he's gonna be he's gonna be playing a lot of minutes and he will definitely be finishing this ball game nice look inside canuelas rosher will come up short though that's a good feed from oftana it's five on four the other way big slam well on the other end of the floor and that's why it's five against four and Christian does a good job. Who also scored once again. PGR! Big slam here! That is what they expect and want from him every single game. Watch it here. This best move of the game brought to you by Honda. The official motorcycle. Galinato with the jumper. That's not going to drop. They push it forward. Seastan challenges, finishes with the left. Aguilar or Stan Hardinger in, in semi-transition. This is not really a fast break play, but... Uh, Fresh off the bench. Goes to the corner. Seastan short. Sydney will track this one down. Nice spin. Under the basket, and that opens up uh, the, the jumper from Scotty. This is just great offense. What a move there. The TNT Tropang Giga got a mouthful from Coach Chot Reyes during that timeout earlier as he aired out his frustrations on his players, pointing out how they seemed like they were they didn't know what they were doing at all. In that Already with five points in this contest. Here comes Calvin off the glass. Such a smooth move there from Calvin of Tana. Made that look so easy against two defenders. Pringle, long two. Not that time. Kid. We try to force the issue. Kicks it to the corner. Calvin, bang. When your confidence changes, suddenly it's an easier shot for you and you take it with a lot of confidence. So five straight points for Calvin of Tana. Let's see if that'll get him back in the groove. Maverick pops. That'll be short. You saw it. Castro gets away. For that easy layup. Only a 30 second timeout, but as you said, that keeps him in the ball game. They're still within striking distance, just down by 11. David flips it up a little bit too strong. Jason Castro once again. And the game has turned here ever since Chot Reyes has used this uh, 
speed lineup of his offense much better for TNT. And now they're getting stops. Scoring is Calvin of Tana. And that lead has been cut down to seven. He has been a, a big factor here ever since he checked in the second quarter. What a pass! Of Tana gets away, making mincemeat of the defense of David. This is what we were expecting exactly. from these two teams. That's right. This is supposed to be a what really a important game. The veteran with a steal and the finish. Reyes just came in. That's immediate impact here from Ryan Reyes. He can still be effective in limited minutes here for Coach Chot Reyes. Scotty tries to take advantage of the size mismatch. Maverick almost lost it. And once again, that's Ryan Reyes. Two steals by Ryan Reyes. And Chot Reyes tells Jeruela, we will take the last shot. And now it's Tim Cone's turn to be frustrated at this team. He was screaming at his boys to pass that basketball. Of Tana for the tie. Oh! Bang! Wow! Completely erased. Ryan Reyes coming off the bench, playing only the final minute of the second quarter. He gets a couple of steals. And this big three-pointer from Calvin of Tana sends us into halftime tied at 41. Let's see, they try to take advantage of that mismatch. Here's Pugoy up and under move. Kelly was expecting to get that rebound. Sistan scores. And the players execute. Who is going to lose it in the open court? Pogoy, touchdown. They look inside once again. Big slam by Japet. You just keep going and going and going to that until TNT stops it. And right now, TNT has no answer. That's why we see, we're seeing PGR in the scorer's table about to check in. That's going to drop there for Kelly Williams. Good movement without the basketball. Nice pass coming from Scotty Thompson. Good inside position from Japet. And might be too much of a handful here to ask uh, Calvin of Tana to defend against uh, Japet Aguilar. Castro will go to the wing. He puts up a three. Doesn't happen though. Pogoy will try to bring it closer. And TNT is up by two. They set up Ku. He'll come up short. It was a three on two break inside. Wow, well Scotty inside. inside. Still at the wing, gets it to RR. Reyes is in the oh. ball game. As Pogoy hits a three. This three points is now the biggest lead of TNT. He's saying, well, I'm just trying to do what I can do to help my team win with those two steals he had. Defended this very well. Pringle also challenging it, but Aral Pogoy. They still have time in their shot clock. Scotty gets away for two. The limit, so that's going to send Nards Pinto to the line. What a move here by Scotty Thompson. That's just a tough shot. A time with that shot clock. Scotty puts up a three, and it's a two point lead for Barangay Hinebra. TNT can't foul. Pringle at the corner will overshoot. C Stan gets it and puts it back. It's gonna count. Stan Hardinger gets that offensive rebound. That was a good shot by Pringle because you take it early enough so that there is still a chance for an offensive rebound. Tana gets it to Kubunti, and there's a block there from Thompson. Here's Calvin going to attack the defense. Hands it off, Kalinato delivers. they have to pull it back, goes to Pringle. Jump shot. C-Stan. Surprise jumper there coming from uh, C-Stan. I mean, he has worked hard to develop that shot, though, but not... 
definitely not a strength. That's a shot they're going to give him, that's for sure. Oh, yes. Galinato will kick it back out. Sets that pick. Jason puts it up. Galinato's there to clean things up. Jap it. No challenge. Still a lot of time with the shot clock. Ahanisi gets away. Jap it. To try to make his move. Gets denied there by Canuelas Rosser. Now that Jamie Malonzo is not uh, in the game for Balangay Nebra. Wow! Puts up a long one! As you can see, he was clearly wide open. Barangay Hinebra scores here. Maybe Jason Castro will have to be thrust back into the action. Scotty for three. Oh. Bang! Back here, the MVP providing the big plays here. And you cannot give him that much space because his shot has been on the entire game here for Hinebra. BGR to Montalbo. They got to look for Calvin Oftana. He finds his big man. Strong finish here. Taking the shot from the outside, even though he has that jumper, that's all the way strong. You see, space. women are from Alabang, starring Heaven Peralejo and Marco Gallo. Directed by Gino M. Santos, produced by Sari Sari Network under Viva Films, in association with MQuest Ventures and Studio Viva. Showing in cinemas this coming May 1. Few possessions, Calvin of Tana. What a joy to watch this this guy creating and then going to the other side. Jason will lose it. Maverick in the open court. Finds C Stan. The pass behind him. Pogoy gets away. Pogoy attacking with speed and force. He absorbs the contact. Pinto with a good move. Knocks that one down. A lot of attention this goes to Scotty Thompson. Here's six men. Back in action. Pocket pass. They kick it out. Narge, another three. Wow! Pogoy inside. That'll cut the lead down here to a more manageable level. Scotty can't get away. Nards finds Ku and Ku delivers. Another big play coming from Nards. Pinto, he was about to fall, but he was able to spot the cutting Ralph Ku. And Ku also moving so well without that yep. basketball. That's a nice strong finish there by Kelly. Still a lot of time here for TNT. They were getting the stops, but he got to finish up the possession by grabbing that rebound. C-Stan falling away, yes! That was just a, a, just a great offense. Tough shot over the hands of Arafogoy. Approaching the final two minutes. And Kelly Williams gets it right back. Says, take that. For TNT, look at that. The, the floor is so open here because TNT has four great outside shooters in the game. Because you stop the time. You can get the possession back. And you put Stan Hardinger on the line and he misses both. But you have to rebound. Almost another offensive rebound here for Scotty Thompson. Wow. Straight for another basket. It's Kelly Williams. What game we're having here, uh, Anthony. And this is with Scotty Thompson chasing him. The center takes it from coast to coast. What a game. Calvin to tie things oh. up. Why not? And that's why Jason Castro is Jason Castro. The winner here will literally have momentum. But with the way both these teams have played, Stan. Three! Oh! Big three there from Scotty Thompson. He says, bang, bang, bang! 
action here once again. Tap's gonna go to Reyes. Ready up to go. Calvin of Tana kicks it out. Three from Kelly Williams, that's offline. And Barangay Never is gonna hang on and take the victory here.